Hello, philosophers. Today we're talking about the ontological argument to prove the existence of God. The ontological argument was created by Saint Anselm, A-N-S-E-L-M, way back in the early, early medieval period. It's one of the first major arguments, and it's important because it is a 100% a priori argument for proving the existence of God. So purely logical, but it also makes it very vague and abstract, so it's a, it's a little difficult to wrap your head around. Um, so let's look at what Anselm says. Uh, the, the crux of the argument, the main point, is that it is impossible to say God doesn't exist. And if you can't say God doesn't exist, then I guess he does. So why? Why can't you say that? Uh, and Anselm's point was that it, if saying that a creature that exists doesn't exist is contradictory, right? And that, that seems obvious. If you, you can't say that something that's not yellow is yellow, right? So you can't say that something that exists doesn't exist. All right, so we've got to prove that, that God is the creature that does exist. Uh, and the way he does it is he says that we all understand the idea of God. Every, every human anywhere, it doesn't matter where you grew up on the planet, you have an idea of what this God creature is. Uh, it, it's sort of intuitive to understand what it means to, for a God to be. Um, and we all understand that God is the greatest imaginable being. All right, that's what the word God means, greatest imaginable being. All right. So if I were to list all the characteristics of the, the greatest imaginable being, I would list things like, I don't know, all powerful, um, perfect, um, good and true and honest, all these other characteristics. But what about existence? If existence is a characteristic, you would have to agree that a being that exists is greater than a being that doesn't exist. Right. I mean, that, that's obvious. Right. So now we're adding existence to one of the qualities of the greatest imaginable being, right? Uh, a, a being that exists is greater than a being that doesn't exist. So the greatest imaginable being is one that exists. So now you can't say that it doesn't. And that's it. That's all there is to it. Bam. Now you all believe in God. I will see you at church on Sunday.